entrepreneur is a person who, first of all, believes in himself or herself. Second, takes the risk. Third, has nothing to lose. Fourth, works hard. Fifth, goes into details. Sixth, is optimistic. And I think you can go on and on. But these are, in my mind, the fundamentals of an entrepreneur. We also need social entrepreneurs. This is something not in our culture. I've been very much advocating this in our educational system. I've been writing to ministers. I've been writing in the papers, at least in Jordan. And in my family foundation, I have a component on social entrepreneurship. And luckily, unfortunately, some of the universities in Jordan are responding very positively. And today, in some of the universities, which I happen to sit on the board of trustees, are giving courses in social entrepreneurship. In our foundation, we're creating a fellowship program where actually it's a network of individuals who are fellows in our foundation, recipients, if you will, and they were trying to, to together to create what we call a social entrepreneurship network. Each individual can serve his community, can mentor others, and we need to create it in the culture. So it's part and parcel, it's not separate. By the year 2020, the Arab world has to create 100 million jobs to maintain at the current unemployment rates today. And this has been unprecedented. We cannot create, it has never been created in such a big way. So basically we need to think of ways, innovative ways, out of the box if you will, to come up with projects, ideas to uh, create employment. And what better than SMEs? Look at the history. SMEs have traditionally uh, outperformed any other activity or any other platform if you will. Uh, in creating jobs in any part of the world. So basically, yes, we need uh, to create a lot of jobs and we need a lot of, uh, parallel to that, reforms in the educational system. Because the educational, the outcome of the educational system is not producing employable, uh, enough employable people. And here the NGOs, the social responsibilities, the philanthropists, what have you, should concentrate, in my mind, on employability. Because education is one thing and employability is another thing. And SMEs are in general a good way or a good platform to create all of that. One message I would like to give to every entrepreneur, owner of SME or not SME, is basically a common mistake, is follow success, not profits. Because if you do that, if you follow profits only, it will blind you and it becomes money and money and money and th this prevents you from investing long term. My point is always follow success and once you achieve success, profits will come. Don't get me wrong, profits are important for sustainability. You're in the business to make money, but it should not blind you. And that's what I tell people, do the best you can, everything you do, achieve success and profits will come. So that's quite a, 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 a thing I would like to keep with our uh, entrepreneurs in our part of the world. Jack Welch once said it that I accept my people to make mistakes or to fall down as long as they stand up where their head is, not where their feet are. Basically meaning do not make the same mistakes uh, twice. So I am optimistic, but I think that we need to address this issue, the issue of entrepreneurs and SMEs, and we need to preserve the entrepreneurial spirit in any organization, no matter how big or small it is. And this is a challenge I continuously face in my business, where we are quite a relatively sizable business. We have a lot of systems, procedures, very documented, but we always thrive to keep the entrepreneurial spirit because this is what ticks, this is what keeps us going, this is what brings the nice ideas, the, the out of the box, if you will. And I, I think that big organizations can pay a part in supporting, in mentoring, in contributing time and effort and resources to support uh, SMEs.